as with Microsoft Windows and Mac OS X, Ubuntu is going to try to keep itself up to date. From time to time, you may see the following dialog prompt. The software updater will tell you that updated software is available for your computer. Do you want to install these updates now? We can look at the detail of our updates here. That is what's going to be installed, what is going to be updated. We can also look at technical descriptions of these particular updates here in case we'd like a little more information about them and what they are and what they're doing. Or we can change our software updater settings. These are important. You can tell it to automatically check for updates on a, a daily basis, every other day, weekly, every two weeks, or never. I recommend daily. When there are security updates, should the computer display them immediately, download them automatically, or download and install automatically? This is my preferred selection here. If I change anything, I have to enter my user password. When there are other updates, when do we want to see those? I like weekly here because there are very frequent updates to Ubuntu and other software that's installed, and I don't want to see that dialog box all the time. Now this is the final option, notify me of a new Ubuntu version, which is also very important and will by default be set to for long-term support versions. This means that you'll only be notified of a new Ubuntu version if it is a new LTS version of Ubuntu. Ubuntu comes out with new versions regularly, however they're not all LTS builds. And if you update from an LTS build, to a non-LTS build, you of course lose that long-term support. So I find that it's best to only upgrade from one LTS build to the other, and we can do that by selecting this option here. Notify me of a new Ubuntu version for long-term support versions only. You can of course select never or for any new version. Just remember to be careful here as you can move away from an LTS version without really being aware of it. Those options all look good, and so I'm going to go ahead now and install these updates by selecting Install Now. The installation process is going to be fluid. It will require our password, but after that, everything is going to be downloaded and installed automatically. No need to worry about it. You can take a look at the details here if you'd like to see what's going on, or you can simply minimize the software updater and go about your business.